you were involved in really the last big mob war, you know, yeah. of the 20th century. And there's one story that kind of relates to Greg's mind going to the dementia, and that's the story of uh, a hit on Nikki Black, who was, well, was very big. Yeah, but you know what's funny about that? One? Out of all the, the the damage we did during the war, uh, it was kill or be killed. We were fighting each other. Again, that doesn't make it right in in the whole world, but in our circle, that was what it was. But Nikki Black was a heavyweight. On the Vicarina, he yeah. grew on the. He would have never grown on the Junior Persico, because there was a edict put in when he got made. He could never rise above soldier. He only got straightened out because he was making a fortune with the Teamsters. And I have an uncle Albert that's a dinosaur with that family, mm -hmm. and had more respect, well loved than. No, I hated Dickie Black. So he goes to my uncle Albert. Now this is my cousin Joey's here with me now. Yeah. Okay. He tells him, and this is my mother's brother, that yeah. I'm going to kill Butchie, that was my nickname, if he doesn't come over to, or your nephew, if he doesn't come over to our side. Yeah. So my uncle told him, he'll never come over, he's true blue. In other words, you're not. He yeah. jumped ship. Yeah. My nephew will never do that. So I went to see my uncle, and he told me it's true. He said, he's going to do that, so be careful. He says, but remember this, blood is thicker than water. In other words, I had nothing to and I didn't. I wasn't even thinking that way. Mm -hmm. But if he told me something, listen, like maybe he knew Nikki was coming. But the next day, we made Nikki our number one target. And once again, I, I don't know if it was divine intervention, even in a, such a terrible thing. This guy was looking for me. We made him a target. And the next day, we found him. And we were in a car that looked like an unmarked car. We yeah. had a siren in the window. So you to and that's what yeah. we think, because he never turned his head. We pulled up alongside of him. You know, Greg had a rifle. Yeah. And he actually hit the wrong button. And yeah. all the bullets fell out. This was towards the end. Towards the end he the was getting yeah. yeah. And uh, I had the shotgun. So I reached out the window. I had a bandana on like we have to wear now. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. I had sunglasses on and a baseball hat. I reached out. I really got within six inches from his head. I do not know how come he never turned around other than thinking, pull off, they're going to arrest us. Keep you his know, head straight. Yeah, it's exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, the rest, I hit him, and it was pretty gory, but we drove yeah. off. And that was one that, even to this day, I don't regret. Yeah. You threatened to kill me. My mother had a hit at. My yeah. uncle had a hit at. My blood hurt it. You know, and they were worried. Because yeah. This man was a dangerous man, too. So, sure. uh, yeah. But that was, like, the, the pretty much the turning point in the war for us, too. Sure. Yeah. Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and click the subscribe button to not miss any of our latest shoot interviews, match videos, or news updates. Support us on Patreon.com for $1.99 a month to watch our full shoot interviews ad-free and help our channel grow. Follow us on Twitter at The Hannibal TV for instant updates.